I mean, they helped put our roof on this building and that building. I mean, they helped so much just around here and around the community. So we're just happy to be able to help in any way we can. Mihai Acres Church of the Nazarene got help from strangers after Irma, some of them from North and South Carolina. Now after Florence, the church is helping and giving back to friends and strangers in the Carolinas. So we instantly knew that as soon as we heard the people in the Carolinas were affected, there was no hesitation, no anything. We're like, let's return the favor. Irma destroyed Margaret's shed, but they were not alone in rebuilding it. When we heard this group had come to help us from um, North Carolina, and, and they offered to come put it up for us, that was a blessing in disguise. It was a real, real, real blessing. She also wanted to return the favor. We should, in turn, do to them what they did to us, which was good. So now we are collecting all the stuff we can and getting the community involved and all that. Yeah, put the bags on there. Yeah, I'll take the bucket. The step. I've been in the people's shoes with Irma here last year. So it's time for us to pay it forward and help those that are impacted by Florence. The church is giving everything from food and water to toilet paper and pet food, even stuff for the kids. You know, some things to help keep them entertained a little bit on the smaller side, because I know if they don't have power, it's kind of hard to entertain them sometimes. If you'd like to help, you can donate from 9 to 2 p.m. on weekdays and Saturday from 9 to noon until October 6th. But if you call ahead, the church can be flexible outside of those hours. Church members are planning to start driving to the Carolinas October 13th. That's what we're here to do. We're here to help people. We're here to, and if you're not helping somebody, to me personally, you're not really doing a whole lot.